In the realm of military aircraft, Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale are the two major competitors. Both are highly advanced fighter jets in history and share similar characteristics in terms of size, power, and capabilities. In the earlier Eurofighter program, it was jointly developed by French, Germany, the United Kingdom, and Italy. However, France left the project due to disagreement on aircraft characteristics and capabilities, leading to the development of the versatile and Navy-capable Dassault Rafale independently. This prompts us to consider the comparison between these fighter jets. In this video, we will figure out how the Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon compare to each other. Stay tuned. Before delving deeper into the topic, here is a brief history of both fighter jets. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, multirole fighter aircraft developed by a consortium of European aerospace companies as a replacement for the Tornado and the F-4 Phantom. It first flew in 1994 and entered service with the British Royal Air Force in 2003. Since then, it has been adopted by several other countries, including Germany, Italy, Spain, and Saudi Arabia. The Eurofighter has been used in various military operations, including in Libya, Iraq, and Syria. In addition to its air-to-air -air capabilities, it has also been used for air-to-ground strikes and reconnaissance missions. The Dassault Rafale, on the contrary, is a French twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multirole fighter jet developed by Dassault Aviation. It first flew in 1986 and entered service with the French Air Force in 2001. Since then, it has been adopted by the French Navy and has been used in various military operations, including in Afghanistan, Libya, Iraq, Syria, and Mali. The Rafale has also been exported to Egypt and Qatar. It is capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat, as well as reconnaissance and nuclear strike missions. The Rafale is considered a highly advanced fighter jet, known for its agility and stealth capabilities. Now let's move on to the comparison. Unit cost. Dassault Rafale is commonly perceived as more costly than its rival. According to Dassault Aviation, 201 units of the jets have been produced with the cost per unit for the standard Rafale F3R around $120 million. However, this can vary depending on the variant, configuration, and the quantity of aircraft being purchased in a single contract. In comparison, the unit cost of Eurofighter Typhoon, which also varies based on variant, is around USD $90 million, and 570 units have been produced until recently. Finally, it's important to note that these costs are approximate and can be affected by factors such as inflation, currency exchange rates, and negotiations. Design Both Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon are highly capable and advanced aircraft. However, there are some notable differences between them in terms of their design and capabilities. According to AeroCorner website, the manifestation of the tail is one of the most obvious distinctions. In this instance, the Eurofighter Typhoon was designed without a tail, but the Dassault Rafale has a tail with a height of up to 17.52 feet. Besides, the Rafale is slightly heavier and has a larger fuel tank capacity than the Eurofighter Typhoon. It also has a slightly better range with an unrefueled combat radius of around 1,150 miles and a ferry range of around 2,300 miles whilst the Eurofighter Typhoon has a combat radius of around 930 miles and a ferry range of around 2,070 miles. Despite some differences, the size and cargo capacity of the two fighter jets are somewhat comparable. The Rafale is 50 feet long and has a wingspan of 36 feet, whereas the Typhoon is 52 feet long and has a wingspan of 36 feet. Both aircraft can carry up to 20,944 pounds of cargo at their maximum payload capacity. However, the precise payload capacity might change based on the aircraft's design and mission. Armament The Dassault Rafale is equipped with a variety of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles, for example, Mika, Magic 2, Meteor BVR, air-to-ground missiles, for instance, Scalp, Apache, 
hammer, and a 30mm cannon, for example, JAT 30-719B. It also has the ability to carry laser-guided bombs, GPS-guided bombs, unguided bombs, external fuel tanks and pods like RICOENG Reconnaissance Pod, Damocles Targeting Pod. More crucially, it has weapons management system for efficient and flexible weapon selection and able to conduct reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions. It is equipped with RB2 ESA radar, Spectra EW system, and reconnaissance pod. Contrarily, the Eurofighter Typhoon is equipped with a variety of weapons such as air-to-air -air missiles, for instance, AIM-120 AMROM, AIM-9 Sidewinder, air-to-ground missiles as Storm Shadow, Brimstone, and a 27mm cannon as Mazur BK-27. It also can carry laser-guided bombs, GPS-guided bombs, unguided bombs, external fuel tanks and pods like Rexolite Reconnaissance Pod, Captor-E Radar, and Lightning Targeting Pod. Moreover, it has an integrated armament system that works with the avionics and navigation system, providing precision and flexibility in weapon selection. Finally, it is equipped with Euroradar Captor-E Radar and E-Scan Radar, which offers wide field of view, high resolution, and long range. Avionics System The Eurofighter Typhoon has an advanced avionics suite, including various sensors and systems integrated with navigation, weapons, and defensive aid subsystems. It features a Euroradar Captor E radar for high situational awareness and multi target detection and engagement, a helmet mounted symbology system for flight and navigation data, an infrared search and track system, a communications, navigation, and identification system and a defensive aid subsystem. All systems are integrated with fly-by-wire control, providing the pilot with quick decision-making capabilities. The Dassault Rafale has a similar avionics suite to the Eurofighter Typhoon, including integration with navigation, weapons, and defensive aid subsystems. However, it features ARB-2 ESA radar for high situational awareness and multi-target detection, as well as an additional Spectra EW system for jamming enemy radar and communication signals engine. The Typhoon is powered by Eurojet EJ200 afterburning turbofans that allow it to reach a maximum speed of Mach 2 and altitudes of over 60,000 feet. On the other hand, the Rafale is powered by Snecma M88 engines, which provide a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and altitudes of 42,000 feet. Overall, even though the Typhoon has higher top speed, the Rafale has better maneuverability and engine use in the Rafale, also has advantages in terms of maintenance and low operating costs. So which one is better? Both the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Rafale are highly capable fighter jets, but they possess different strengths and weaknesses. The Typhoon has a more powerful engine which enables it to accelerate faster and reach higher speeds. It also has advanced avionics, such as an active electronically scanned array radar that enables it to track several targets at once and is a newer aircraft that incorporates the latest technology. On the other hand, the Rafale is more agile and has a proven combat record. Its outstanding maneuverability makes it a better choice in a dogfight scenario. Additionally, the Rafale has been employed in more conflicts and is believed to be more effective in combat than its rival. Eventually, both the Typhoon and Rafale are remarkable fighters. While the Rafale is better fitted for close-range dogfight, the Typhoon is more appropriate for long-range missions and air-to-air -air combat. Finally, it is worth noting that both aircraft were designed to meet the specific needs of their respective countries, and the decision between the two aircraft will depend on the mission at hand. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.